Hello to you, I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramisha Shade. It's that time of day again where we check out and see what's happening in the tropics. Fortunately, nothing too crazy happening out there. Of course, that's typically what we expect this time of the year as we get closer and closer to the end of hurricane season. However, we are not there yet. So of course, we're gonna to continue to give you these updates daily, at least until the end of our hurricane season. And we're gonna let you know what's going on. I actually wanna start off with this visible satellite loop. Of course, when you lose the sunshine, you kind of start to lose the imagery here. So and you'll notice that it's starting to fade towards the last few frames. But while we had a lot of sunshine, notice a pretty good swirl. This is Bermuda here, and this is a tropical wave that is racing off to the north of Bermuda. And when we had all of that sunlight, you will definitely see that well-defined circulation there. So this one looks like it's getting its act together. It looks fairly impressive, but Right now, it is still not a named system. However, it is a system of concern, a system that we're watching. The good news with this one, though, it's really not going to have that much time to blossom and develop into something more significant because it is racing off to the north into colder waters and upper level winds appear unfavorable for this system to develop into a major tropical storm or hurricane. However, the National Hurricane Center still giving this tropical cyclone formation percentage about a 20% chance. So we do have a slim shot that this could develop into a tropical depression or a tropical storm. We're monitoring that closely, but it does not appear that it would impact the U.S. because it is tracking farther to the north and not to the west. So that's some good news there. Also monitoring another tropical wave down to the south. This one is pretty close to the Turks and Caicos. So it's close to some Caribbean islands and it is also pushing off to the north mainly to the north to northeast. So it is also moving away from the US and this one does not look very organized at this point either. However, Atmospheric conditions are conducive for potentially a little bit additional development as we go into the next couple of days. So therefore, National Hurricane Center giving this tropical wave that you see with the X farther south, about a 10% chance for development over the next 48 hours and a 30% shot for development over the next five days. So those are the two systems that we are monitoring right now as we check out the Eastern Pacific. Of course, that's where we had Roslyn to develop into a major category four hurricane making landfall as a category three early Sunday. There's nothing going on in the Eastern Pacific. So that's good news. No chance for any kind of tropical cyclone formation in the Eastern Pacific, in fact, for the next five days. So that is some good news there. Sea surface temps across the Gulf of Mexico, across the Caribbean are still on the warm and steamy side. Still kind of like some bath water for parts of the Caribbean where we've got buoy temps in the middle 80s and we've got some 70s starting to mix in, but water's still fairly warm. So if we were to get something to develop in the Gulf or in the Caribbean, there would still be a shot that it could get its act together and strengthen because we do still have the warmer waters to fuel a potential tropical system. But fortunately for now, we don't see that happening for the Gulf or for the Caribbean. The two systems that we are monitoring in the Pacific are actually headed north and not west, so that is good news. However, there's still a shot as we get these cold fronts coming through that we could still have some tropical development right along one of those cold fronts. So that's something that we will monitor. Of course, if we did get any additional development and we did get a named storm in the Atlantic, the next name on the list would be Lisa, then Martin, then Nicole. But for now, I do not foresee that happening probably over the next couple of days. As we go into the Pacific, Eastern Pacific names, we've got Sea. Tina, Virgil, and Winifred next on the list, but there's nothing brewing in the Eastern Pacific either, so we are looking good. Like I mentioned, no tropical cyclone activity expected for the Eastern Pacific for not just one, not just two, but actually the next five days. So things are quiet and that is the way we like to see it. Hopefully that will remain the case for the next week, next couple of weeks. In fact, that'd be great through the rest of the hurricane season. Of course, we had our peak for hurricane season around September 10th. That was here where we had a very high shot for a tropical cyclone, a tropical depression, tropical storm hurricane. But we're getting towards the final days of October, not far from Halloween. Then you'll be talking about Thanksgiving after that. So we're starting to get through the latter part of this year. And as we chug along, we start to see those numbers go down. So the chance for any tropical cyclone formation between now and the end of hurricane season, which would be 
November 30th, very low. However, it is not zero. So we will keep watching it for you, updating you daily and letting you know what's happening out there in the tropics. But fortunately for now, things appear to be pretty quiet. Of course, if you'd like to know more, tune in here every day. We do these updates around 4 p.m. and they will be, of course, on our Fox 26 YouTube page. But if you're on the go, make sure you have the Fox 26 weather app downloaded. Very helpful information. Hopefully you had it downloaded and used it last night or early this morning. We had a line of strong to severe storms roll through and a few of those storms produce a little bit of wind damage up around Montgomery County. We have reports of a few trees down. That's why it's always so great to have the Fox 26 weather app. You can get your alerts, your advisories, your warnings, your watches. You can get reports of storm damage, where those storms are headed. You can track the weather on our radar, our interactive radar, and then you can also find out what's happening in the next few hours, the next few days, all the way through the next seven days, in fact. So plenty of info there. Make sure you check it out. If you haven't already downloaded that, good thing to do. Also, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitter at Ramesha Shade TV, Facebook at Ramesha Shade Weather, and Instagram at Ramesha Shade. Hopefully it's been a great week for you. We are moving right along. Before you know it, it'll be the weekend. So we can go ahead and start thinking about that, making your plans. But at least for now, things are fairly quiet for the majority of the tropics. But of course, if that changes, you will be the first to know. That's all I have for you today. I hope you make it a great evening and a great night. Take care.